90 years ago, when Isaac Wolf Bernheim gifted this land to the people of Kentucky, he wanted it to be a place where people could come and reside in nature with art. For our 90th anniversary, we wanted to celebrate that, and so we commissioned artist Thomas Dambo, internationally renowned recycling artist, to come to Bernheim and build three giant sculptures uh, inspired by this landscape. Did it just come out of the forest? Did it walk out of the forest and then it come this way? My name is Thomas Dambo. I am an artist, a recycle activist, and I come from Copenhagen in Denmark. I travel around the world and build a fairy tale of trolls, one sculpture at a time. I've done 43 of these creatures so far, and now I'm here in the Bernheim Arboretum making another tree. It's a mother called Mama Lumari, then it's a baby girl called Little Elina, and a baby boy called Little Nis. When I have to decide where uh, my trolls, they live, I try to imagine that if I was a troll, what would I do if I were here? Like, uh, I would maybe sit and lean against this tree, or I would look uh, in this pond. And I think it's nice that, uh, that my creatures are, are placed in the real world, and they're interacting with the real world, because by doing that, they also seem more alive. On the other hand, you could also put a, a troll inside a museum on top of a pedestal, and th that would make it look more dead. And, uh, and I'm aiming for having uh, live sculptures. I think that's nice. The mission behind his work is about sustainability. It asks us to examine our lifestyle choices and how that affects the environment, to be largely in nature. He doesn't necessarily want people to drive by his sculpture and feel like they've experienced it. So when I come and do a project, like here in Bernheim, I come here and then I find uh, a lot of uh, different uh, trash around. I try to be a trash superstar that will show people that trash can be uh, positive and trash can be beautiful and sexy and VIP and worth a lot of money and it can draw hundreds of thousands of people out to get these experiences. So here we're building from whiskey barrels, we're building from pallets, we're building from old uh, slugger bats. The horn of my, uh, my dragon is made from the uh, old discarded slugger bats. And then we are also building from trees that fell in an ice storm last year. I'm impressed that Thomas and his team have been able to work relentlessly through some pretty wild weather for Kentucky uh, in February, March. It has snowed, it has rained relentlessly. Uh, we've also had beautiful 60 degree sunny days as well. So they've been able to accomplish a lot in that time. So Thomas works with a lot of people. For him to be able to pull off these monumentally sized sculptures, he needs to have people helping. He has a crew in Denmark. There's a studio there. I think there's a team of maybe 15 people. And so depending on who's available for what project, certain members will go. And then this wouldn't be possible without volunteer help as well. And so we've, I think, had 240 slots of volunteer availability, and we have filled them up. The public was very excited to see his work come here. <laughs> With forest giants and a giant forest, people are coming to Bernheim for the art and are discovering all these wonderful things about Bernheim as a result. And we feel like that's gonna have great potential to motivate our community to see the importance of art in a natural environment. I hope that when a family or a young couple or whoever will come and see the project, I hope they will take away from it that it's worth to leave your screen or your house and go out and experience nature. And I hope that they will remember that nature is sacred and beautiful and that uh, you can build big and amazing things from trash and ultimately remember to take care of the world we are all sharing.